gyroscopic precession works? You're about to find out. Now I'm sure you all are familiar with the classic physics demo where a suspended bicycle wheel spinning at reasonably high speeds appears to levitate and rotate about the string as an axis point. A clear solution to this problem is hard to find, but here goes my best shot. To begin with, let's only consider the wheel suspended by the string and supported by your hand. Between the force of the string on the axle and the force of your hand on the axle, you need to be able to overcome the force of gravity in order to keep the wheel elevated. Now picture that you let go of the wheel and allow the axle to fall. This begs the question, what is necessary to increase the only other upward acting force, which is the force of the string on the axle, enough to where it can overcome the force of gravity acting downwards on the wheel? Now let's consider a wheel rotating in gyroscopic precession. The top of the wheel is rotating into the page. Using a right hand rule for torque, it can be found that a torque is produced out of the left hand side of the axle due to the rotation of the wheel. Using the relationship between torque and angular momentum, it can be found that angular momentum is also created in the same direction. As the spin rate of the wheel increases, so does that angular momentum. Initially, there is a slight drop in the axle. This allows for gravitational potential energy to be converted into kinetic energy and gives the wheel the energy it needs to process around the string. Also, due to the force of gravity acting on the center of mass of the wheel and axle, which is our distance away from the axis or the rope, a torque is created and using the right hand rule, it can be found that the torque is out of the page. To understand how the force of the string on the axle increases to the point where it can overcome gravity, we have to look at a diagram of the top view of the wheel. The three positions of the wheel represent a position before the present, in the present, and after the present, as labeled 1, 2, and 3 respectively. If you were to imagine a dot on the bottom of the wheel, it would be in these three locations at each time. The spin on the wheel has not changed, and the rotation of the wheel itself about the string is exaggerated to show this point. Observing the arc in the three locations, there must be a force pointing inward. This force is exhibited by the spokes of the wheel on the rim of the wheel, as they are the only two objects that can produce this force. I have gone on to draw the diagram of what is happening on the bottom of the wheel at this point. However, keep in mind that we are still viewing from the top, we are simply considering the bottom. The rotation of the wheel and the precession of the wheel are still in the same direction, but if you can imagine the same point on the wheel as we did in the top view, you would notice that an arc is in the opposite direction. This force is also exhibited by the spokes on the rim and makes up the key component of how the force of the string on the axle increases to overcome gravity. Finally, to do a little recap. We have the force of gravity acting our distance away from our axle or the string. We have the angular momentum, which increases with respect to torque in the same direction due to the spin of the wheel. And due to the fall of the wheel initially, we have the torque out of the page. As we just found out, we have the force exerted by the spoke on the rim of the wheel, pointing left on the bottom of the wheel and pointing right on the top. These two forces will create a downward force on the string by the axle, and because of Newton's third law, the string will apply an equal and opposite force upward, a force strong enough to overcome the force of gravity. Due to friction in the axle, the spin rate of the wheel will eventually slow down and allow gravity to overcome the precession. Otherwise, the wheel would levitate forever, and that would be pretty sweet. Thank you very much for watching the video.